Quilting like life is a process that demands time and patience. I know this, you know this, it is known. <laughs> Yet there's a peculiar challenge in the seemingly endless stretch of work without that satisfying ta-da moment. It's the event horizon of quilting where time slows down and progress feels elusive at best. But then put away the distractions and suddenly seven projects are finished in a whirlwind. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. And in today's video, I'm making observations and epic progress on my goals. Hang around, I'll show you what I mean. Last week, I was making notes for the weekend update and I sat and stared at the blank page for a long, long time. I had nothing to share. Everything was in a varying state of unfinished and I decided not to film. Then I had a thought. What does the real life making process look like? This ebb and flow is not unique to quilting. It mirrors life in many aspects. Our endeavors often consist of fits and starts creating a twisting path of progress. There's a hidden world of hard work beneath the surface, making the final outcome appear seamless and effortless when we know nothing is truly seamless or effortless. Life is not Instagram. Every quilt, regardless of speed or efficiency, carries a substantial amount of effort. If I didn't have a channel and these periodic updates, I might not notice this. I might not pay attention, examine, and appreciate all the work that goes into a quilt and more broadly, everything in life. I am learning trying to learn to appreciate and enjoy the process in new ways and to understand that the real magic happens on the journey, not just at the destination. So I cleaned my room. I stopped trying to make it all come together and I just did the work. Let me show you. The green checkers quilt that I've been talking about for so long is finally completed. Long arm struggles notwithstanding. While Anna was cleaning their room, this project was unearthed in a half finished state. So I finished this little doll quilt. Because it was too cute to let sit there. This is something that Anna started, oh, years years ago when she was a kid we picked it up as a little kit came in a cute little tote bag it's just tied and hand bound took me about one day to finish but it's done and it's adorable i got the indigo way top assembled and the backing prepared having some difficulty with my sliding quilt system this one's too long it is too long just don't trip on it oh go slow Come on in as far as you can. It's against the... I set the blocks for Indigo Way straight on. A, B, A, B, and then alternated on the next row. Put a navy blue border on it, called it good. I really like it. The backing's prepared. It's ready for the long arm. Thank you. I got the remixed geese top assembled. You saw that on Wednesday and you'll see it again this Wednesday. And I got the backing prepared. Anna helped me kit up eight quilts. Then I promptly sewed two of them together and got backing prepared for those as well. Yep, that's good. Don't stab yourself on that pin, babe. Oh, that's what that is. That's what that is. <laughs> like, what is and this one. Oh, it's got strings all over it. That's okay, we'll get them cleaned up. Thank you. And one more. Oh, those plaids are messing with the camera. Thank you very much. I'll share more about these two quilts, these last two quilts next month when they are completely finished because they're part of February's project. There's quite a pile up at the long arm right now, but Anna is getting the hang of quilting and things should get moving really quickly. It feels so much better to finally have my feet under me and a plan for moving forward. 
Seeing the results of this week and the creative force that came from focused work is so motivating and I want to focus on sewing and quilting and more in-depth creative content. I'll share progress pictures on the community page and Instagram and in the monthly Patreon Zoom calls, which was so much fun by the way and I can't wait for the next one. I have so many ideas that I want to explore and I am excited to focus and share them with you. February, the grayest month, is going to be all about exploring color and continuing to build color confidence. I'm already working on these videos with renewed energy and inspiration. I'm speaking at Honey Bee Quilt Shop on Wednesday, January January 31st at 1 p.m. all about YouTube as a creative resource. If you're in the Austin area, stop by and say hello. My friend Amy sent me pictures of her finished breakdown quilt along top. She followed the pattern geese construction method but changed the size of the blocks to make the most efficient use of her fabrics and she set some creative color boundaries for herself. I think it looks amazing. Amy said the creative grids geese ruler four at a time geese it's linked below helped her a great deal and you guys can always drop me a picture an email or tag me on instagram to share your work i would love to see what you're up to wednesday is the wrap up of the breakdown quilt along and i am so excited to share with you how it turns out and the quilting and finishing process if you missed any of the breakdown quilt along check out the full playlist that's on the screen now don't forget to have fun with your quilting and don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.